Hey curious gang, it's Vasi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. On today's special video, we're going to the London by the seaside, which is also the greenest city in the UK and the city with the biggest LGBTQ community. Did you guess where we are going? Yes, you're totally right. We're going to Brighton and I'm so, so excited. We're taking the train. And you guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out, grow my channel and also I give you informative and fun information. And let me tell you a little bit about how we got our tickets. We actually booked them on the app of train line, mm -hmm. which is so cool because it gives you the option of buying uh, super off-peak tickets, which is exactly what I did. And I'm so happy because we saved so much money. For a ticket in both ways, we paid only 13 pounds. Don't tell this to Ben because it's actually a present for our anniversary. After that, you also get this ticket. Pretty much the same as the one that you get for the plane. It's super cool, super convenient. Tells you also the platform on the app. And yeah, and that's it. I'm loving also the train itself. Yeah, super it's modern. We just arrived in Brighton and you guys, I had the loveless conversation what happened? with a couple that what moved happened? in here from South Africa and they asked me what's the name of my channel and they were like, oh this sounds lovely, we're gonna follow you so our curious community is getting bigger and bigger and I'm loving this. Guess how many people live in Brighton? When I googled this the first time, the answer was 200,000 people. So when I was recording this, I was convinced that this is the answer. But actually, after, after doing a more profound research, it turned out that the answer is 600,000 people. And you might be wondering, what is Brighton famous for? Well, let me tell you. Apart from the beautiful beach with pebbles, it also has a very eccentric character. It also has a fame for lesbian and gay capital and it's also a leader in green politics in the UK. Did you know that in 2017 the Green Party member in Brighton won with 52% of the votes compared to UK average of 1.8%. The city is also very well known for the graffiti and all the colorful streets, but I will show you that later. One of the total must-see things in Brighton is the British Airways Tower, <laughs> Sorry not to see, see, which you can see over there. And did you know that it's 150 meters? It's one of the new landmarks because they recently built it. And did you know that the architects are the same peeps that also built the London Eye? But unfortunately, and also kind of luckily for Ben because Ooh. he's afraid of heights, we cannot go there at the moment because it's closed until the 17th of May because, you know, it's quite a closed space. But you go up and you can see all Brighton and the sea and I'm sure it's lovely, so I really suggest it. I will also put uh, the prices down below so you kind of get an idea how much it is. And something that I keep seeing people doing here is exercising. It's so cool and they're also doing it at open air, looking at the sea. Let me show you. And they're also doing yoga over there. How cool is that? And this is how the beach line looks like. It's 5.4 miles long and it has this Victorian glamour. And something that I really loved about it is that there is a huge walking space so you really feel comfortable. And as you saw, people were doing lots of sports over there. You guys, aren't you super curious what's inside this barracks? Let me know in the comments down below what do you think it's in them and I'm going to tell you what they actually had. And I kept checking on the weather forecast in the past couple of days because it said that it's going to rain and we have been here for like two hours, I think, not more. And it's supposed to rain in the afternoon, but really, keep your fingers crossed for us that it's not going to rain but right also right in front of me i see this Ta -da -da -da. hello i'm the weather forecaster of today's video yeah it's not the heaviest cloud but let's hold tight and guys what do you think about brighton are you liking it so far 
Hello guys, we have to go very slowly because we don't want to scare him. Hello, Gabiano. <gasps> We're getting a very close shot. Yes. We're so close to him. And he's still here. Okay, he got scared. <gasps> there is another one. We are at the Brighton Beach and do you know how are this coat? Like is, rocks. No, this is a pebble. And pebble. This is what the Brighton Beach is famous for. Let's take one home because All they're right. too That's cute. Nice. Do you guys like this pebble? I feel like we can find a prettier one. Let's look for it. Show us. Oh yeah, this is a cute one. It's tiny and has a sort of an egg shape. And it's white and black. And you guys, do you know what is one of the biggest curiosities of Brighton? It is the upside down house. Inside there is a lovely gallery, so if you're here at another period, I really suggest you going inside. And also over here you can find the, you know, the typical shops that you can always see next to the seaside that sell things basically for the sea. Three pounds for a postcard. Yeah, it's quite a lot. This is also why I actually try to avoid always these shops that are exactly next to the seaside because they're super touristy, which also always means overpriced. Talking about the things to avoid, I would really suggest you avoiding all these restaurants that are exactly next to the seaside because I actually got warned that this is one of the worst places to take fish and chips, which is quite crazy if you think about it. The closer you are to the sea, the worst fish and chips you will find just because it's way too touristy. There are a lot of art exhibitions, festivals and there is this photo exhibition in here. Let me show you. It's very little but you can still see that the city cares about the culture. Basically what do we have in here? They are all photos from Brighton and the exhibition is called Our City. It's starting to rain a little bit but ouch but I hope it doesn't last because come on it's such a beautiful day and this is the fairy ground for the kids but after that there is a bigger and more exciting one and stay tuned for that because I also went on one of the rides and oh my god it was amazing guys when you google Brighton one of the first things that you will see it is the Brighton Palace Pier. This is a grade 2 listed pier, which is a tough old bird. Hello, Gabiano. And it survived two world wars, all the storms and rain that come in here. And nowadays, millions of visitors come here every day. But is it safe? Yes, it is. It doesn't look very safe to me. There are shops and you can buy, you know, all those typical fairy grounded things such as like donuts with Nutella, churros and all these things that you love as a kid. And this is the one I went to. It's called the Booster and it was amazing. Basically, it spins, turns around, uh, turns you also upside down and it also goes up to 130 feet into air. So you have an amazing view of Brighton. And it also cost seven pounds, which I think is fair. And now it's time to get lost in the lanes because to be honest, I don't think there is a better way of exploring a new city than actually getting lost in there. Okay, okay, hold on. But what are actually these lanes? Well, let me tell you, the North Lanes is a hip shopping district which has more than 300 shops that are all crammed into less than half a square mile where you can find vintage shops, designer boutiques, music stores and of course a lot of vegan trendy cafes. And there are also some studios which produce glassware, jewelry, ceramics, sculptures and clothing. Hi guys! And here we are at the Royal Pavilion! Wow! What's this about? Isn't this so pretty? I swear this really looks like a place which should be in India. Don't you agree with me? <laughs> it really reminds us of the Taj Mahal and it was also a royal residence home which was built in the 19th century and also a formal prince whose name I will insert in here. I believe it was John, but I might be very wrong. So uh, you will see the correct answer in here. It says like George over there. 
Oh really? Yeah. Okay, then I was totally right about this. John, 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 John. Hi. Oh well. <laughs> cannot go inside but here are some beautiful pictures of how it looks inside the tickets cost between 17 and 14 pounds depends if, of course if you're a kid if you're a student you can also have a nice walk into the pavilion gardens of course don't walk in one place as i do but you can walk, walk in multiple places you can walk in multiple places around this garden and we went on Saturday and we saw this flea market which was over on the street but there is actually also an open market which has other independent shops, street food and also different artists and I mean wouldn't you expect this from such a hip and cool city? And the market that you see in here is in the North Lane Bazaar and actually we weren't planning to go in there but it is in the center of the city, it was very reachable and actually it also has a great mix of both secondhand products, vintage ones and just amazing antiques and crafts. guys in front of the Saint Bartolomeo church which is in gothic style the Italian gothic style but what you see from the outside is nothing actually compared to how beautiful it is inside so let's go and check it out we're approaching the entrance oh, oh, oh there's a queue oh there's a small queue oh oh wait what uh, uh. and you guys let me know in the comments down below did you enjoy our little trip to Brighton by ours, I mean me and you. And if you haven't been, would you go in there? Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one where I show you what can you eat in Brighton. Love you all, bye!